almost everyone who has had a, an arm or a leg amputated experienced the phenomenon of a phantom limb, which is a vivid sensation of that the missing limb is still present. Over time, these phantom limbs can become very painful and it's difficult to treat. Our results suggest that phantom-like sensations can easily be created in non-amputated individuals. In this experiment, the participant sits at a table with her right arm hidden behind the screen. To induce the illusion of having an invisible hand, the experimenter touches the participant's hidden hand with a small paintbrush while simultaneously moving another paintbrush in mid-air in front of the participant in full view. The paintbrush is moving through the empty space in synchrony with and along the same trajectory as the paintbrush touching the real hand, matching the three-dimensional form of the hand as carefully as possible. And what we found is that most participants after experiencing this situation for a while, starts referring the sensation of touch to the portion of empty space where they see a paintbrush moving and experience having an invisible hand in this position. To demonstrate that this illusion actually worked, we threatened the participant's invisible hand with a knife and measured the, the changes in the sweating of the palm with two small electrodes attached to the participant's hand. And we observed that after having experienced the illusion, the participant's stress response was higher compared to when, when seeing the knife threat without experiencing the illusion. In one experiment, we also measured the brain activity of the participants using fun functional MRI. And we found that the experience of the illusion led to increased activity in areas of the brain, so-called multisensory areas, which are normally active when, when healthy individuals see their own hand being touched, which is a strong evidence that the illusion actually occurred. In future studies, we hope to be able to use this illusion to, our, to understand the phantom limb phenomenon and why phantom pain occur.